welcome to Chi Chi's place. I'm so glad you came. Come on in. Let's have some fun. Hi. I'm so glad to see you again. Today we're going to read a really fun story. Gigi wrote some books, some big books, and I'll show them to you someday. But um, I also wrote some little stories that I could take to schools and read to the children there. And this is one of them. And this is the title. Oh, I think it's backwards. Well, what it says is, do you have a little sister? At least it looks backwards to me. Maybe it's not backwards to you, but it looks backwards to me. This is called a flip book because when I flip it over, you're going to see a picture, but I'm going to have some words back here that I can read. Okay, you ready? Here we go. One day, Mom went shopping. She told us that when she drove back in the driveway, there was a cat lying in a flower pot in her window box. Do you know what a window box is? I have some in front of my house. They're boxes of flowers that sit on the windowsill outside. She seemed excited when she told us this story. And that made us just a little bit worried. See all the bags? Does your mom ever go shopping and bring home lots and lots of bags? Well, this mom did. Mom said she was a little nervous about getting close to the cat because wild cats can sometimes bite or scratch. Certainly they hiss. Can you see? I'm going to bring it up really close so you can see. We would have surely bitten and scratched if we could have kept Mom from doing what she did next. Can you guess? That's right. She went right up to that flower pot and she talked. That special baby talk she talks when she talks to the cats and puppies and babies. And soon she was petting this cat. Mom said she purred. Can you purr? Gigi can purr. Listen. That's what the cats do. Can you see? There's something kind of reflecting on this somehow from the window light out there, I think. She went right in the house and she got a little dish and she put some of our food in it. She put it on the sidewalk and that cat walked right up to it and ate it. Can you imagine? The next day, you guessed it, the cat was back. There she is, right at the door. Not in the flower pot, but on the porch. Waiting for more food. Can you guess what happened next? That's right. Mom opened the door and that cat walked right in the house. She just, Mom was just going to open the door and put the food outside, but the cat walked right in, right inside the house. Mom let her stay for a few minutes, and then she put the cat outside. This went on for two or three days. And then the bad stuff really started to happen. Can you guess? That's right. Mom got a big pan from the garage. She put some litter in it, and that cat hopped right in and used the litter box in our house. And we found out the cat was a girl. A girl. We were in our room with the door closed, but we could hear everything, and it made us hissing mad. Can you hiss? Now listen, a snake goes, Sss. that's not this kind of hiss. What kind of hiss does a cat do? <laughs> like that, yeah. One thing led to another, and now we have a sister. Her name is Janie, and I don't like her. Not one bit. I'd like for Mom to take her back outside and put her back in that flower pot. 
Shakespeare says he doesn't really care. He says there'll be plenty of food and litter as long as we don't have to share the litter box with her. Ooh. Do you have a sister? Did your mom find her in a flower pot? Do you have to share your litter box with her? Mom says Janie will grow on us. We'll see. What's that mean, grow on us? Grow on us? No, I think it means you'll get used to it. It'll, it'll be okay later on. And they say, we'll see. Now just what do you think happened? What do you think happened? Do you have a little sister? Do you have to share the litter box? Do you have to share your food? Sharing is a good thing. Sharing's in the Bible. Sharing is in the Bible. In fact, I'm going to tell you a story about a little boy. And in fact, in the Bible, it's called a little boy's lunch. So first thing I want to tell you is this. Remember this? I showed you this Bible. Okay, well, this is the picture they think the way Jesus looked. But can you tell by the way he's dressed that he doesn't look like we look? Okay, well, and he also didn't live in America. And, newsflash, he didn't speak English. So Jesus was uh, a very interesting person because he just appeared and he was telling Bible stories. He was telling people about how good God is. He was telling them about uh, things in their Bible that they didn't even understand. And he was doing all kinds of miracles. So everybody wanted to hear him. And one day, he was out in the countryside in Israel where he was born and where he grew up and um, there were lots and lots of people there in fact there were so many people there some of you may live in a city or a, a village that there actually were more people on that hillside than live in your whole village there were way more people there that day than are in your school and some of you unless you go to a humongous big church there were more people there than in your church and so Jesus had some helpers that helped him. He had 12 guys that traveled with him. They were called disciples in the Bible, but I'm just going to use the word helper. And so Jesus was out in the field, and he was talking to the people and teaching them. And um, it got to be lunchtime. So his helpers came up, and they said, um, you know what? You need to send these people home because it's, they're hungry, and we don't have anything to feed them. And Jesus said something really funny. He said, you feed them. <laughs> what? Okay, remember I said there weren't any McDonald's? There certainly weren't any Walmart. There was no place to buy food for that many people. Even if they had all the money in the world, there was no place to buy food. So they went around and asked people, does anybody have any food? Does anybody have any food? And there was one little guy there that had brought his lunch. Why? The Bible doesn't tell us. Maybe he just decided that day that he was going to go out and spend the day playing in the fields. Or maybe he had a job watching sheep and he brought a sheep with him. Who knows? But whatever, he had a lunch. Now, the Bible says that he had five loaves. Now, that does not mean a loaf of bread like what we think of as a loaf. It just means five pieces of bread. And I've seen the bread over there. And sometimes it's just this big around, kind of like a pancake. Okay? Five of those and three fish. I, 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 not fish for me. You would never find fish in my lunchbox. I don't like it. Ugh. But that's what he had. And so they come with this lunch to Jesus and they say, this is what we've got. This is what we've got. And instead of Jesus panicking, he held that lunch up to heaven. And he said, remember, he didn't speak English. Baruch atah Yehovah, Eloheinu melech haolam, hamotzi lekem min haaretz. Now in English that means, Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who brings forth food from the earth. And then he started breaking pieces off of that, little pieces of bread and fish, and handing them to his disciples. And before you know it, Everybody had lunch, even the little boy. Now, I have a lunchbox here, and I guarantee that the little boy didn't have a pink one. And he probably didn't have anything like this with a zipper. And I can also guarantee that if you opened up Gigi's lunchbox, you wouldn't find fish in here. 
You might find peanut butter and jelly. You might find apples and cheese. You might find chicken nuggets and french fries, but you wouldn't find any fish. But this little boy did not do what a lot of us would do. A lot of us would say, ha, I'm sorry, but this is my lunch. I packed it. I brought it all the way here. I'm not sharing it. And you know what? He would have missed a chance at the biggest miracle ever because not only did Jesus feed that whole bunch of people, but there were 12 baskets full left over. How many helpers did he have? Were you listening? 12. Each one of them got to take home a basket of leftovers. How did that happen? I don't know. But I know this. If we share, if we share what's in our heart, if we share what we have, whether it's our lunch or our clothes or whatever, if we share with people that don't have any thing, then we're going to get to be a part of a miracle as well. That's a great story, isn't it? There's lots of stories in the Bible, and we're going to tell you as many as possible. So hopefully you will have a happy day, and you will learn to share, and you'll come back next time. Okay? Bye! It's been a busy day of filming at Gigi's place. Thanks for stopping by. Shakespeare's having a little nap, staring at the light. Hey, if you have any questions or just want to leave a comment, you can do it in the comment section below. And if you'd like to know more about Gigi, more about the cats, Feel free to check us out at meweldon.com. Have a happy day.